Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany here with another video to help you guys live a happy, healthy, awesome life in a wheelchair. And I'm here with my friend Tash. And together we are going to do a reaction video for a show that we're in. Can you even believe that's I like... I don't like... Yeah. When, I, when that comes out of my mouth, I'm like, what? Um, so if those of you that are watching have no idea what I'm talking about, I am in a show called Push. It's on CBC here in Canada. And I know a lot of you watching are from the US. And no, you can't watch it there unless that you know how sucks. to do some like, you know, not legal maneuvering and I'm not <laughs> advocating that, but um, you can't watch it there on any of your networks or streaming platforms. So I'm sorry. Uh, but for those of you that are Canadian, you can watch it on CBC or CBC Gem. And uh, today we're going to do a reaction to the latest episode that came out uh, just on Sunday. What was the date on Sunday? The 4th? The 4th? I think it was February. No. Second, yeah. third. Second, third, fourth. Yeah, it was the, the fourth. Fifth. It was February 4th um, that this episode, episode came out and it was episode four, if you're looking for it. And we are both in it. Um, and I'm mostly chaperoning uh, Tash here to uh, an uncomfortable event. So I'm just gonna let her set this up and then we're gonna watch the video uh, and we're gonna react to it because this is, you know, the first time we're watching it together. Uh, and. For me, I've watched it, well, we've both watched it before, um, but there's just a lot of good things in there, um, especially about what it feels like to have a disability and the things that are going through your head when you're in a crowd of people. So I'm gonna let you set this up. So what, what, are, we, what are we going to watch and what are, what, are, what are you doing in this episode? Well, for those of you who may have seen season one mm -hmm. of Push, um, there was a baby was still in the belly. Yeah. So this is also, like there's a baby and he's growing up. Yeah. Um. He's actually walking and and talking now, so it's a huge um, evolution. I, I yeah. would think in in that realm because I mean, for people with kids, like you just know how like everything changes so quick. And as a quad mom, like it it changes massively when he's like able to be a little bit more independent or climb up on my lap. And yeah. so this this gives a like a little taste of the transition of coming out of that like, oh my God, baby needs everything all the time. Hell to yeah. like, oh toddler, this is kind of fun. Also I'm exhausted, but it's still it's you know, it's just getting to be more fun. And and then the cheerleading thing. Yeah. And then the cheerleading thing, which is an event that she's going to, it's basically like a reunion of cheerleaders, right? Yeah, it's, um, and it's a lot deeper for, for me, just because um, I went to high school with all the, almost all of these people, and I was in a like crazy, horrific car crash when I was 18. So right after finishing high school, um, you know, you're in your prime, you're like, my whole life's ahead of me, 18. Um, what am I going to do with my life? Well, for now, I'm just going to party. And that's all you care about. Well, that's all I cared about. Yeah. And uh, so those are, this is like what these people knew me as. And so here I am, like 13, 14 years later, and it's just like this awkward headspace to be in, but to go back and face these people. Yeah. And to do it on camera. I've, I've, I think at one point I was like, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. But. Uh, weird enough just to go back and see people that you went to high school with like because that's just weird enough even if you aren't totally different like you know now she's a mom and everything but she's also in a wheelchair and she wasn't before so um, it's awkward enough when that isn't uh, part of you know the meeting people again but having to go back and, and see people as a totally different person is just uncomfortable so we're gonna we're gonna start this episode uh, which just starts with basically us getting ready to go so mm -hmm. let's see do makeup here. Can you grab the bag, the headband, and the little pink mirror? Yeah. Thank you. Getting ready for me takes forever, but today is extra insane because I'm actually going to an event and I have to look good. Are you nervous about tonight? I don't know. It's really weird. I think I'm trying to block it out. Tonight I'm going to a cheerleading reunion. I started cheerleading when I was in grade eight. I was lanky and not the most graceful. But cheerleading helped with that. That was a Kanye West concert where I'm doing the splits. We were going to the Kanye West concert on, and I think it was on my 18th birthday. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. It really was therapy. It was an escape. It's also community, like it's somewhere you belong. 
I liked the competitive aspect of cheerleading, which makes it hard going to a reunion because all you're doing is comparing yourself to all of the people that you used to know. I just want to talk about that for a second. Exactly. Comparing yourself to people you used to know. Um, in what way? Shit. Like, in what I way? Mean, you, you grow up and you're like, oh, like, I wonder what this person is doing now. So, you know, a lot of people have died. A lot of people I went to really? school with. There's a few, yeah. OD. Wow. Um, what? I just, I think OD is the, the bigger one. Yeah. But, um, but it's, it's true. Like, what, how many, who's had babies? Who's married? Who's got this massive career, you know? Who's a travel agent? It just, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, get, I think it's just human nature, but I'm always comparing myself. Yeah. And coming um, out of an injury, like, I think that was the worst part about like being, I mean, I can't even say it's about being so young because it, it really, um, in my time, I've like, it happens to everybody. Yeah. You're just like, you're always comparing. I'm always wishing I had more hand function or, you know, mobility than I do if I'm comparing myself to the next quad or the next person with a spinal cord injury, um, let alone somebody I went to high school with that's like grown up and how to, has a, has a life now. Yeah. Um, and where does my life look and how... How, how does that compare? I mean, it just, it, it, it wraps around jealousy, yeah. like mad, right? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's really hard to get out of that. And like some people don't leave the house um, after an injury because they don't want to be seen in a wheelchair. I struggled so much with, especially right after, for years after my injury, not wanting people that I used to know to see me the way I am now. Yeah. Because I always felt like, they're gonna be like, oh, she's not walking yet. Oh, she's not recovered oh. yet. Oh, she's still in a wheelchair, even after fundraising all that money for her recovery. And it's just like, oh. those things cycle through your head. In this case, what we don't actually really disclose on the show is that I'm about to run into somebody who was actually in the car crash. Oh yeah. You, they didn't say that on the no. show. Oh yeah, no. you're not gonna see that in the episode. No. it. And it was like, it was a choice. It was yeah. a choice not to. I don't, I don't want to disclose or put like yeah. that person um, in any, but it was, it was, it was a mind fuck. Like yeah. it was a super big mind fuck. All right, let's figure out where we're going. Tori Cheer, Wild Rose one and two. All righty, up the fun ramp. The first two tables that can come up here with all the athletes from their table and build a stunt. I have a prize. Oh my God, we can fit. <laughs> All right, hey, thank you. Good, how are you? Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. You got baby. Yeah. I got baby. Okay. You got baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my God, it's how been so long. Doing? Good, how are you? So, so good. Awesome. awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, it's so nice to see you. Okay, come. Okay. I saw you. I saw you. That guy was my favorite. The way he interacted oh. with you, because every other person, and you're like you're, I'm like watching this from the side. You could see the wheels turning, going. I'm not sure how to hug her. I'm not sure how to hug her. And he just like comes. And in. he came in. It was like, can, like he he came in with like a willing heart. It was like, can I give you a hug? Yeah. And you were like, yeah, absolutely. And that is the best. I love when people are like that, that don't know what to do, come in with a willing heart and be like, hey, are you a hugger? Can I still hug you? Are you okay with it? And it makes you feel so much better. I don't know, but you can comment on that. But. I know, I, I love that you said that because we actually like, we actually were like also good friends in high school. Uh -huh. And like, he saved my drunk ass from like making out with somebody oh. once at a party. You know when you like, drink too much but you're in a hot tub so it messes oh, you up. Oh, yeah. and you're yeah. like dizzy yeah. and also yeah. I don't know, he probably doesn't remember that at all. That's really but, funny. And I've like bumped into him here and there at like the uh Junos and stuff like that, but like and you know, all these people they're all on social media and they all like, we should like tag and him. comment and all this. We should tag we him. We should tag him. Oh, he'd love that. We but, should tag him. But like but like so it's so funny. Like they follow you and I followed them for years. So like you know what like maybe social media air quotes are going on in each other's lives yeah. but like to see each other in person it's all it's like there's this really awkward tone right but for him it's, i felt like he was, was the, yeah. i felt he was the most comfortable yeah like the other people i thought were 
and like Maybe granted doing it for the camera i don't know yeah. that was really hard for me to know but, whether people were coming over to be like oh my god tash is in a she's in a wheelchair but also she has a camera crew following her yeah. around like that's hard to know sometimes when you when you don't trust whether people are coming over to say yeah. hi because they want to be like oh my god i talked to her and this is what's happening in her life because there are some people that are like that mm -hmm. there's definitely some people that are like that um, but there are just like genuine people and like maybe it's just a feeling I had but he felt very genuine yeah, to me yeah. He felt like he was excited to see you yeah. and he wasn't sure how to embrace you But he asked and that was it. But what's really funny that's coming up is that one of these people I have no idea who they are and they like give you'll see It's a whole swell of emotions like going into this event seeing people that I haven't seen since careful, my car careful, crash careful. Sorry, oh. sorry I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. That lady that like hugged you, <laughs> she pushed your wheelchair. I'm always scared. Hugging me is such a hazard because I'm always scared if my chair is gonna drive on your toe, like roll over your toes. I always have to make sure my like uh, gears are sh changed so that it won't drive. But yeah, um, it is a, is it? A, I am a hazard to hug. Do you have that often where people know who you are and you don't know who they are? Yes. Because it happens to me all the time. Or names, like you do, I just forget names. I so forget names to, like, sometimes, introduce. but there's so many people that know yeah. who we are and we're like, I don't know who you are. Because they remember us, which is part of the being like, I always say I'm wonderfully conspicuous because like we are a spectacle. And like, um, I try and tell myself I'm wonderfully conspicuous and people notice me. You are and not es conspicuous. Especially <laughs> if like once you're, once Tyo starts going to school, they're going to be like, that's Tyo's mom. And people are going to be like, that's Tyo's mom. And you're going to meet other moms. They're like, you're Tyo's mom. You're like, I don't know who you are, but somebody told <laughs> Because you're in a wheelchair, yeah, you're so, Tyo's mom. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so weird. Maybe they might think you're Tyo's mom. Okay, we're going to skip great. skip ahead a little bit to a couple of the good good parts of the episode that we want to comment on. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to go over there? Or oh, do you want to sit? This is fine. Okay. I'm probably going to make you do the same thing. Solidarity, babe. I'm so glad I brought Brittany. Oh my God, I love you. So um, we were getting ready to eat um, and obviously you, can you show people with how many things, like have, what you can use? Like, this is my drop zone. Yeah. Um, I use my thumb and my finger to like wear uh, a fork with rings on it. It's called dining with dignity. And for like new quads out there, it's so much better than any Velcro strap or brace that you have to use. Um, Cause it just looks like a regular fork. And, um, but anyways, I, I still have this crazy drop zone. Like I, if I eat rice, I spill, I drop. So, I mean, that was something that was really hard with my self-esteem over mm -hmm. the years is to, you want to fake it, right? Yeah. You want to look as l like the as, as le le least disabled, the least disabled yeah. as possible. I don't want people looking at me. So if I'm in a restaurant and somebody's feeding me, that is the most goddamn embarrassing thing. It, like it was. Yeah. Now I'm just like, well, whatever. Like I remember even going on a date with a guy and he's like, well, can I just feed you? And I'm like, no, God damn it. Yeah. No. Right. It's just, yeah. it's so, it's so like, I'm, I'm a, I want to be a person. Yeah. And that means feeding myself if I can. Um, and the bib thing probably makes you feel like an infant. It like is, it, it yeah. probably, it, well, it probably made like, you like, it's just you probably like, had look, to get used to that. It's like, look at me. It's like, I need this. So yeah. it's like, it's like drawing atten more attention yeah. to me. If you think about it though, like I was thinking about this, like when, like I put the, when I put the like napkin in my shirt and I'm like, that's like actually like what people used to do. So yeah. they didn't like, cause it's they couldn't so wash true. their clothes all the time. Like they only had a few clothes. Oh my God. Drake has a line. <laughs> Took my napkin in my shirt. Cause I'm modern like that. Do you know how, yeah. how good that made me feel? I, I, I love and I've always loved Drake, like, through and through. Yeah. But that line, it, it totally helped my self-esteem. But th again, this goes back as a take back to the pity. Yeah. I don't want people staring at me. I don't want to draw attention to myself because they're going to feel sorry for me. Because yeah. I either can't feed myself or I need a napkin because yeah. I'm going to make a mess. And they're going to be like, aw, you know, like, that's so sad. Yeah. But, like, it, what what is sad? Like, if you are if you are an able-bodied person that doesn't need any of these things, what's sad about it? Yeah. Because I'm, like, that's what I was thinking about when I was watching that. I was like, this is something we used to do. This was table etiquette. It was mm -hmm. literally table etiquette to, and, like, rich people could afford napkins so that they could put it in their shirt and put it on their lap so they didn't mess up their clothes. And then, you know, 
now we, we don't have any of that like table etiquette at all. Um, so then we look like the weird ones and we're worrying about what the other people think when really we're like, this makes a, a lot more sense like, than spilling shit yeah. on your boobs. Bitch, I want to eat supper. But you know what, what made me not give a shit was having a baby. Yeah. Uh, before I had a baby, I didn't want to really go out without makeup on. I was super yeah. like un self-conscious. After I had a baby, I would like, Jitty would be like, you really you going to the store like that? You know? <laughs> like, I... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're like, I don't give a care. shit what I look like. I know. Anymore. It, I'm just surviving. <laughs> there's something about like having to uh, prioritize somebody else yeah. that makes you way less self conscious. <laughs> and I don't know, like, I don't know whether that's a great I thing know, or a bad 100%. thing, but I think it's a great thing. I know, and then it's, but it's also like the self care you gotta pull back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you're still. You're still yeah, there. you really do. You do have to like, especially with like the health wise things, like you can just like get overrun with your child's needs and we gotta we gotta take back yeah. our, our own needs okay let's skip forward to is this the part yeah this is the part right yeah is that the part yeah that's the part um okay uh, there's the armpit fat <laughs> what we're coming to the armpit oh fat. okay i hope those of you who are here are having the time of your life so far at this time, we have a special performance. Okay, I'm putting that in here. In my, she literally noticed, like, she's got skin in her armpit. Women, they're hilarious. I know, I'm so, we're so vain, I'm so vain. We're just gonna, I'm gonna put a little ticker in here for ding, every ding. time we make a body comment. Yeah. We have a medley of four dances through the decades that we brought back for you. Tonight's been a bit of a challenge so far. And now it's getting even worse. They choreographed this dance routine. I'm like just about crying. Me too. Like, I'm honestly like, I get so emotional when shit like this happens. I'm feeling the tears and holding them back. I want to be up there dancing. I want to be the one who like still got the moves. I want to just be that active. It might've been kind of cool if they were like, hey, do you want to be part of the choreographing? Can you meet us to practice? Like just even that ask, you know, because maybe I could have done a little pirouette in the front or something, right? It sucks. I feel bad. Yeah. Trying, like it sounds like I'm throwing them under the bus, and yeah. and I and I don't I don't want to do that. Um, I don't think it sounds like that. I think it sounds like it vocalizes what, and this is like the mental thing that I was like talking about that I wanted to comment on. Um, the like the war that is going on in your head it's like an yeah. iceberg so like above the surface they're seeing like you just sitting there watching and you're you know you might have a little like nostalgic look on your face yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. but like under the surface. There is resentment, there is gratitude, there is jealousy, yeah. there is anger, there is sadness. There's like this whole like thing like going on in your head and you're just like, I'm so glad that I'm here and I hate these people. But for am doing I? Because yeah. all of the things that you're saying, like going to this event, I'm subjecting myself to all of those yeah. emotions and nothing that you said just now really was positive. It, there's <laughs> like, no, it yeah. Really, it's like, it's really like I'm bringing myself through this trauma, like yeah. bringing myself back to feel the trauma, to go through this emotional trauma. And, um, you know, like, I guess I'm like, I'm like, I, I can say I'm stronger because I can sit through that. Yeah. But it's still not pleasant. It's still not a great feeling at all. And it, but, but that's what made you sitting beside me yeah. so empowering. And I, I actually didn't realize that before we went. Until we were in this moment, and I was like, holy fuck, Brit, like... Somebody knows how I feel. I, like, you're sitting beside me, yeah. and you get it. Yeah. Like, especially when, like, when I could see that this dance was affecting you, at, like, like it was affecting me, I was like, oh. It was just some, it was just, like, freeing. It was, like, yeah. way, it was just so powerful to have you there. I yeah. swear to God. If they did, like, in, like, include me and holler at me and say, hey... Let's choreograph Tash into this. Do your pure wet and honk your little horn. Yeah. 
I don't know if I'd feel good about that either. I don't Cause know. Because I'm going up on the stage in front of all y'all shaking your hips because you can while I'm like rotating and spinning in my chair. And like I get that that's empowering, yeah. but it's still not. No, it's what not what you want to be. Want to be doing. No. And it's like I like that's what I mean by like be living in both worlds. Yeah. I I fight to say that like I'm a quadriplegic. I can still dance. Better fucking believe it. Yeah. Right. Like, but like. It's not the kind of dance that I miss. It's not yeah. the kind of dance that I like crave and um, mourn. Because yeah. for real, and this mo- this is mourning. Like I do yeah. feel like this is mourning. It's like I'm mourning what I once was. I'm mourning the death of my mobility. And you're mourning the death what? of the thing that you will never ever have. Yeah. But you know what I think having a kid has done for me? I think that it's given me the like less of like, oh, I can't go hiking, this sucks. Oh, I, I can't go swimming, this sucks. It's like, I want him to do it all. Yeah. And then yeah. That, that gives me like even more purpose. And then I don't care that I'm not doing it. If mm-hmm. he can do it, if he can be doing it, it's that whole thing of like living for your kid. But I can't, I can't like going through with the hard shit and the hard moments in my life, I can't tell you how many times I've just been like, hey, whoever, I'm like, God, yeah. I'm done. I'm done with this life. Yeah. Like, give me the next one. I, Make I, me reincarnate, please. Oh like, God. onto the next one, onto the next one. Yeah. Hashtag onto the next one. Yeah. Because it's just like sometimes it's so fucking hard. I think these days there's so many more resources out there, like your YouTube channel. And like, that's why like I'm so. Like her podcast. Well, <laughs> mixed Crips. The mixed it's crips. awesome. Uh-huh. Um, so good. If you like my YouTube channel, you're going to love her, her podcast. It's very real, raw, um, very similar vibe in terms of like just sharing the real life stuff of disability. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, and like even, so being newly injured and being able to find these resources, listen to them and watch them, whether you're like, okay with being injured, you, you're like, okay, trying to accept your disability or not. Like yeah. if you're trying to break free of it and, and rehab yourself to a recovery in whatever way, shape, or form. I just think that these um, resources are so, so valuable. Yeah, they really are. Any, like the show push that we're on is exactly. so valuable for exactly. to, to have a, like a representation of the people that look like you um, living their lives, I think mm-hmm. is so, so freaking valuable for allowing somebody to move past or get out of the ruts. I love this episode because there's so many good things in it. And like, really these things, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes that we know yeah. uh, and what it feels like to be like in those moments. Um, so we wanted to share some of that with you, but I hope like anybody with a disability that's watching this, that's watching Push, um, I hope they can relate to those feelings and the enormity of them that is always sort of behind the scenes when we're putting on a smiling face for, you know, everybody out there. Cause we, I feel like we have to do that all the time. And I feel like even for those who are not in wheelchairs yeah. or, or don't really have disability in their lives mm-hmm. in any way, shape or form, see how you can relate because I've, I've been coming across that and you can relate because you can relate from a human level Yeah. because that's what we are. We are all, you know, creatures of the world yeah <laughs> not uh, not the underworld but, <laughs> but seriously we are all like human living a human life and that is that is what is relative to yeah you watching our lives on 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 tv it's just showing you that our lives are just like everybody else's um with with you know shit to deal with and good times and bad yeah exactly okay well thank you so much for the commentary i like we are very similar people and um, what you'll see on the outside is like, you know, strong people that have good lives and that have overcome, you know, our injury and all that stuff. But there's a lot going on day in and day out, uh, for us to keep going in this life. And I hope that's what we shared a little bit of today. Um, and yeah, just life is stressful. Yeah. Life is stressful, but y'all, y'all can get through it. Yeah, you really can with people. You got to get good people in your life. I think that's uh, one of the biggest things. So go find some good people. I hope you guys... Oh, yeah. Woo woo! Yeah, okay. I thought she was going to like uh-huh. leave us on like something. Just a woo woo. Okay. Bow, bow, bow. Um, okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and I will catch you on another video. Bye. Peace.